Hey, what's up guys? I want to show you how I rig saltwater jerk baits. So I have the Lunker City Sluggo, both the 9 inch and 7 inch, which are both great baits for striped bass fishing. Um, I will use an owner beast hook with these. Uh, they match up really well with these Sluggos. I'll use the 80 on the 9 inch and the 60 hook on the 7 inch. Uh, they also make a hook with a little bit of keel weight. So occasionally I will also run the hook with the keel weight, but I'm gonna show you how I rig this. I have the seven inch Lunker City Sluggo and the 60 Owner Beast hook. Uh, what I like so much about this hook is it has the centering pin in the twist lock and that will allow you to Put this on nice and straight so i do think it is very important to rig this bait very straight uh, if you go in too far on one side it will tend to pull um, and i really like to be able to walk these baits side to side so i'm going to use that centering pin to get this dead center and i'm going to start twisting the twist lock on the nose of the bait nice and straight So I get to the hook eye and then I'm going to line this up, mark it so it lays straight so the bait's not bunching up on the hook and I'm going to go dead center on that mark and the nice thing about the longer city is they have lettering on the back too so I'll try to come out dead straight and there you have it and there it is the seven inch sluggo rigged and ready to fish. I want to show you how to tie a loop knot for attaching a lure to your leader. Uh, the advantage of a loop knot, if I'm fishing with a soft plastic or if I was fly fishing, the loop knot allows the lure to swing freely and it doesn't bind it to the hook and take away some action. So I'm going to show you how to use a loop knot to attach a lure. To start the loop knot, I first start by putting an overhand knot in the line about five inches up. Now I pass the tag end through the hook eye and I'm going to go through the overhand knot I just made going through the same direction so I'm on the underside of the loop. Okay now I'm going to go one two three turns and back through that same side of the loop the underside of that loop, the tag end goes back through. And now I'm gonna bite the tag end and cinch the knot down. Moisten it a little bit. Okay, there's our loop knot. We're just gonna trim this tag end down. And when this is tied properly, the tag end will be facing down towards the lure and you can see this will allow the lure to swing freely. 